Hello my dear students welcome back to the lecture in this lecture we will see how a uh, depth of the excavation is measured manually or how it is done in a local construction practices we'll try to see a video of this also we'll see how the excavation is done and then we'll understand a bit about the auto level how it has to be practically applied on the construction site so i'll take you to one of the video now yeah. so i'll play this video so you can see uh, they are doing the excavation now now you should know right uh, what is the depth of the excavation you are doing so in the local construction what they do uh, they make use of a small uh, rebar that is a reinforcement bar okay and the height of that will be the depth of your excavation let us say you want to do a excavation of let us say 5 feet or let us say 6 feet now we are going to cut a rebar of 6 feet and of course we are going to take it and keep it inserted in, uh, into this pit so you see that how it is being done now so all these are the footings that we have excavated now I'll go a bit forward so you can see this guy isn't it you can see this particular rebar the height of this rebar is let us say 6 feet or 5 feet based on the structural drawing that is given if it is mentioned 6 feet then we'll cut a rebar of 6 feet and we'll try to insert and we'll check okay where exactly one then he is going to insert the excavator driver no, you have to go another 100 mm or 200 mm extra and based on that this is how we do so you don't require any auto level and all but again all these things will work out in a small project in a bigger project it's a bit difficult but still uh, even the previous project where i worked it was a mnc company there also we followed the same method uh, we wanted to do an excavation of around let us say 2 meter that is around uh, 6 feet we did the same thing we took a rebar of 6 feet and we inserted it and this is how we did it right so this is how the excavation has to be done and this is how you are going to get the level the last few mm you can uh, cut it off and you can measure it uh, accordingly right yeah so this is a project what we were speaking of like if you remember it was a basement plus ground plus a four story building here also we have done the excavation so this particular building is somewhere close to the coastal region so we are getting a water here you can see uh, whenever we did an excavation we got water it's very simple you have to do the dewatering of this and nothing much to worry here so here they have excavated completely okay it's complete they have excavated this uh, like a kind of a trench here and they are going to excavate and with the help of the tipper they are going to take the soil now you know what is the soil that has been excavated very simple we have understood through the excel sheets and also if i ask you how do you find the uh, quantity of uh, soil that is being excavated it will be very simple for you to answer what you are supposed to do you should ask me uh, tell me this length tell me the breadth of this and tell me the depth of this if i multiply all the three quantities i am going to get the total soil that has been excavated from this particular site right so very simple mathematics length breadth and depth will give me the total soil that has been excavated from here right so this is how it has to be done now i'll show you how you practically uh, do the leveling of this auto level instrument since we were discussing on this this is called as tripod you can see one tripod second and third and you have a leveling instrument inside this and this is a leveling stub first you have to open the three legs of the tripod and try to keep it as far as horizontal now this guy is doing the same thing okay and this is how you have to uh, fix it here okay with the help of this uh, with the help of your foot you try to insert it inside and now this is the auto level what we have so this is a, we have a clamp here under this we have a clamp and you can see here with this clamp we will try to fix it got it so once you fix it now this auto level is not exactly horizontal it's not exactly horizontal we'll having we'll have a small bubble here so we are, these are the two knobs what we have we have to rotate it to, we have to take two knobs together either rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise so that this bubble is going to come at the center now you see here how it is being done so this guy is rotating it 
he is uh, taking it outside okay and now you can see that uh, bubble is rotating this bubble this has to come exactly at the center first then you can make use of the third one and then try to push it inside first this two you will try to level it and from here you try to make small minor adjustment so that exactly it will come at the center yeah got it so this is how the uh, leveling instrument has to be leveled so once this is leveled uh, what we are supposed to do is we have to take a level from this okay I'll show here but this is not okay now from here he is going to measure the level okay now we can consider this as a top this is your benchmark you can take in RL level whatever is mentioned let us say I'll explain here a bit or the top of this let us say it is 98.25 okay and over this this is 98.25 wherever the hard concrete surface you are able to see isn't it this is 98.25 and he has kept a staff over this now from here he has to take a reading let us say he has got some reading I mean you have to look through this now how do you look, look through this actually what happens if you see this auto, uh, auto level in the inside the machine you will be having this circular uh, eyepiece and in this circular eyepiece you have, will be written there will be two, uh, hor one horizontal and one vertical line. Okay, one horizontal and one vertical line. So whenever you try to object it, what will happen? At this particular center, you are going to get one reading, and that reading we need to pick. Okay, this exactly at the center, you are going to get one reading, and that reading we are supposed to pick. So this guy is doing the same thing now. okay he will note it down so what is noting is noting down it's the same thing what I explained that is height of the instrument will be equal to whatever is the RL level plus staff reading we call this a staff reading so that means height of the instrument will be equal to let us say reduce level I got 98.25 plus staff reading let us say I got some 1.25 add it you are going to get the height of the instrument what if I do it manually 98.25 plus 1.25 I'm getting 99.5 so 99.50 is the height of your instrument got it so this is how we are supposed to do it practically on the side okay I hope this much is clear so after this this is not required for us I'll directly go to the other video yeah so here they have taken the this is another video same thing again let us say this is the top of your curb stone and this RL is something let us say the it is a temporary benchmark okay so let us say this is somewhere you know let us consider it to be 100.35 so this one is 100.35 okay now what you are supposed to do from here you are going to see you are going to get the one reading so 100.35 plus whatever reading you got no that you have to add you are going to get the height of the instrument right so I hope this much things are clear for you now with this understanding we will try to apply the same logic to our to our uh, particular building right now for this building try to apply the same logic I will explain you what it has to be done I want to find this depth from this top this is my top okay from that is FFL level from here I want to find the depth of this from here to okay here this is a depth okay and this depth let us consider it is 3.2 meter I'll write it here it is 3.2 meter okay this much is understood now the top of this this top whatever I have no that is my FFL level floor finished level and let us consider the RL what is given there it is 100.25 that you are going to get from the structural drawing let me make use of a different color hundred point two five this is your FFL level floor finished level got it this much is clear this is that level okay I'll mark it here this is that level top from there you have to do a excursion of 3.2 meter 
now how do you take care of all these things very simple so this is me or you standing here I've set up my auto level you have to set up like I showed how you have to level it now you can see a small uh, stone kept here let us say this is my temporary benchmark which I have set up in my site so the first thing is that once you level your instrument take a staff ask one of your assistant to go and keep the staff over this okay and let us say once you keep the staff you have to see through the auto level and through the auto level you have to read a reading which is written here got it so now let us consider the reading what I'm got what I have got it is 2.2 .2 meter 2.2 .2 meter got it yeah it is 2.2 .2 meter done this much is clear now how do I do the calculation same thing here now observe here height of the instrument is equal to RL plus staff reading RL is 98.25 reduce level is 98.25 you can see this is temporary benchmark okay over this only I have kept no over this I have kept my staff so I have to take this this 98.25 will be written over this it is not constant depends from side to side but here I have taken 98.25 got it so 98.25 plus the staff reading 98.25 plus 2.2 .2 comes out to be 100.45 meeting 45 meter this much is clear for us now excavation level this top level is 100.25 100.25 minus 3.25 will give me the bottom level that the bottom level is you can see 97.05 this bottom level is 97.05 now I need to get a staff reading of how much 3.4 that means this 100.45 whatever I got in height of the instrument 100.45 minus 97.05 05 this is what I'm supposed to do okay so how do I do that next I'll take this out yeah, this I'm going to take it out now what I'm going to do uh, also I'll delete, delete all these things now what I'm supposed to do I'll tell the same guy who helped me here in, to go and keep the staff here he's going to go down and he's going to keep a staff here I'm not going to change my position this is my fixed position throughout this process you have to be standing here only and your auto level has to be here only now what I'm going to do from here I'm going to see from here I'm going to see here at this particular point and when I see at this particular point I should get a staff reading of 3 point how much I have written it here 3.4 3.4 meter I should get a staff reading of 3.4 meter here right when when my staff is touching the bottom this bottom this bottom okay if I'm getting a staff reading of 3.4 meter that means whatever excavation I have done from here to here that is of 3.2 meter exact excavation I have done I've done exact excavation of 3.2 meter and that is the right thing what I've done got it this much is clear just in case if you are not got 3.2 meter let us consider just in case let us say instead of 3.2 meter you have got yeah let us write 3.2 meter here okay yeah now let us say instead of 3.4 meter you got the reading as 3.6 meter you got the reading as 3.6 meter so what does it mean we were supposed to get 3.4 you are supposed to get 3.4 but you got 3.6 meter that means you excavated through 200 mm more because see to put it in a better way the staff reading you have to understand how what what exactly I'm trying to tell the moment you're going up I'll draw one line here okay this is one let us say this is two this is three and this is four I'll erase the other part yeah now understand the staff reading this is one meter okay this is two meter this is 3 meter and this is 4 meter okay so if I'm getting a staff reading of 3.6 meter 3.6 is somewhere here so if this reading has to come that means this should have gone again little down that means I've excavated 200 mm more got it so if I'm getting exactly 3.4 meter that means I'm exactly here right because 3.4 will come somewhere here 3 point if this is 3 3.4 will come somewhere here and 3.6 will come somewhere here if I want to get 3.6 that means this has to go down this bottom should have gone down if this has gone down that means we have excavated another 200 mm extra 
right so that is why whenever you do the excavation try to do 100 or 200 mm little less so that you can verify it because if you excavate 200 mm more again backfilling will be problem for you right so that is why the best idea is like we show like i showed no? you to take a rebar fix a rebar here uh, of 3.2 meter and try to verify that is how you can do otherwise you can make use of this auto level and then also you can give the level now let me tell you one more thing now let us now tell me instead of 3.4 meter let us say you got 3.2 2 meter let us say you got the staff reading of 3.2 meter what does it indicate i was supposed to get i'll write it here yeah this is 3 let us consider this is 3.2 and let us consider this is 3.4 meter okay and we'll erase this out not required not required okay not required not required yeah so what does it indicate that means i was supposed to get a staff reading of 3.4 but i got 3.2 so 3 is here 3.2 is here this should have been 3.4 that means whatever excavation i have done so far i'm i have done the excavation of 3 meter again i'm supposed to do another 200 mm extra you get getting my point so that means if you do another 200 mm extra excavation and then what will happen this particular staff what i able to see it here isn't it this particular staff it will go again down it will go down by another 200 mm let me do in this way yeah i'll change the color understand this this extra is 200 mm so if this extra 200 mm goes down then of course when you see from here the reading will go up isn't it 3.2 if it goes down this much part if it goes down obviously when you project from here it will be 3.4 meter reading that means you are done 200 mm less excavation do another 200 mm excavation and from here you have to see the reading again right so i hope i was able to convey most of the things to you just in case if you understood it's well and good if not try to watch the video once again you'll be in a position to understand if not you can put it in the comment box i'll be there to answer your queries right good so other than that uh, rest all things remains the same only the thing is you have to understand the logic what we are trying to do if you are finding it difficult you can make use of the rebar like i mentioned you can take a you know a big uh, you can take a reinforcement bar of let us say 3.2 meter and try to excavate in this way so that you get an idea what excavation you have exactly done yeah so i hope uh, you have enjoyed the lecture up to here in the next lecture we'll try to see what we have to do whether we have to do the pcc or whether we have to do the footing and what is the sequence of construction we are supposed to follow so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you